speeding up the stages to allow air circulation and accelerated amounts of heat. <laughs> exactly. But before long, we add some of these oak logs and we're off the races. That's right. But if this means we get to cook it, that's what I'm here for. And you take your conduit and you put it there, and then you blow away the knock out the prism right underneath it. Put it there. We got some hot coals that have been kind of here, one the there. For the last hour. You think that's good enough? We want aggressive heat. We want some high heat. So put those there, two one there. sticks there through the side. Okay. One here. Right, right here. One here. Make it a little tic tac toe. Tic tac toe. One yes, there. One there. there. Okay, how about that? It's starting to... Now you can breathe into water. <laughs> when it dissipates like that, I think you're ready for oysters. Oh, you're checking the temperature. Yeah, checking the temperature. Roger, why don't you get, grab that bucket of oysters and we'll throw those on. We're going to come back on top of this with a wet burlap sack. Oh, As you see, you have to have a space above and below. Now, even though I've seen the... Conduit worked this way and generated so you can breathe in the water. I've also seen it where they've added here, 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 and here, and here. Makes it harder for other things to swim in there and break it like an octopus or something. little box here. So if you take a pile of oysters, you shovel them directly onto this wooden table, and everybody kind of serves themselves. The roasted oysters still have a nice meaty texture, and the fire has added a delicious smoky flavor. Tastes good, right? It's definitely a good way to spend the afternoon, I'm not gonna lie. This is how you make and the cute thing is while you are underwater here breathing and not drowning you have to be within 90 spaces or 94 spaces anything beyond that and the little thing in the right hand corner up here can you see it there right there right, will go away and you will drown so you have to be within 94 spaces to stay in the water as soon as you leave the water for a few minutes or a few seconds it will also go away And that thing is, while it's running, you can see into water really well. Now it's starting to go away, so you have a bit darkened here. You've got to go back underwater here. Everything lightens up again. Looks like we've got a cave over here with air trapped in it. The water doesn't go in here. Hey, how about that? Wow. Whatever. Anyway, you need a conduit. Now, you can either make one, or you can go into creative mode, like I did, and get it from making a, um, from typing in a command. Like, you go here, you go to here, and you type the beginning of conduit. And it will give you a conduit there. Okay? Also, if you need prismarine, you go to the first one here, scroll up, and the first you got dark prismarine there and light. You want regular prismarine. As you can see, I have here regular prismarine, and I have the conduit here, right there. That's how I did it. There's supposed to be another way you can do it, but it's harder. Okay. Well, it's night time, so I suppose we should head back to bed. But how do you control the heat on this thing? Uh, I don't get, get over there. Okay, get, grab onto that. Now, see that there? That was right. Some lights stand. around here. You can raise and lower that. Oh, you can get it hot, cold. Somewhere around here we have a door, if I could find it. What's all inside? I see there are These are like 100 year old fire bricks. These are the original bricks that my grandfather used. So if you didn't have these bricks in here, okay. you could escape oh. immediately. Okay, oh, we're not out of the way. Exactly. Okay. Below, rotisserie for the meat, a cover and a hood, a ventilation system, and a raising and lowering system. Pretty simple. Pretty straightforward. Pretty simple. Oh, that's the bad. Let me go find it. What do you got planned? What are we cooking? Oh, I'm going to press you. We're going to do the most incredible truffle pig you've ever seen. Oh, yeah. Okay. That is 
is obstructed. Why is the bed obstructed from what? Oh, it's obstructed from that there. Okay, let me put a roof a little higher up here. So I like to start first with a nice little kindling of manzanita. Manzanita is this manzanita? Okay. It is indigenous to California. It's obstructed very from what? Very dry. Birds very hot. What's this little green stuff on here? That's some lichen. Half plant, half fungus. Oh, that's King of mushrooms. I'm sure it burns good too. Exactly. Put it down there. Put it down here. Cool. Okay, you gotta have two and a half heights, whatever, on the bed. Okay. 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 Let me see if I can get exit out of here. I gotta jump over to here. 